Joining me now, former Dallas Fed advisor, Quill Intelligence CEO, Danielle DiMartino Booth, and former White House Council of Economic Advisors Chair, Tom Phillipson. Tom, I end with you, I begin with you. The market clearly had its worst day in more than two years. How, again, how much pressure is on the Federal Reserve that those in the White House and the Democrats can't stop spending money? Yeah, I mean, you saw the market reacting pretty, you know, immediately when the release came out. It used to be that the market priced in the, the Fed to pro do 75 basis points or 50 basis points in a week when they're meeting uh, with a peak of 4%. Now, it, today, it turned to 75 and 100 mm -hmm. in, in a week and 4.5 as a peak. The, I mean... The bottom line is, are they going to now, they, they could go beyond rates with their balance sheet. With The balance sheet is also being uh, let off, right? Mm -hmm. So, but that's going to take about four years to get down to pre-pandemic levels, eight years before uh, financial crisis levels. So it's a very slow pace. They could potentially also go after that with a faster pace. You, you want to know how big a nerd I am, Tom? I actually wrote that down. You told me that, like, last week, and I wrote it down in this folder, and I've been carrying it around like a psychopath for the last week just so I would remember <laughs> okay, it. Okay, I, I should be charging you tuition. That's what I should be doing, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah good luck <laughs> getting blood out of a turnip, as we say. Um, Danielle, the, the bigger problem is is that the, the Biden administration, they're making it harder on the Federal Reserve to fight inflation. You're putting the entire burden on the central bank. That leads to Armageddon in this highly leveraged economy. Mm -hmm. The market seems to have been, oh, they're going to, a few weeks ago, they were talking about, oh, when's the Fed going to cut rates? Yep. They're out of their minds. They are. And you know, to listen to Chair Powell's most recent public comments, he said, we're going to stick at this until the job is done. Until the job is done. I, I don't think markets are pricing in the fact that not only could rates get up to four, four and a half percent, they could stay there for all of 2023. This is something, this is a new regime in monetary policymaking that we haven't seen in more than 40 years. And, and uh, Tom, on that note, if you... The bigger problem is right now the the mentality, and you see them in the some of the inflation numbers that came out today, that you don't want inflation baked into the thinking of consumers and businesses, that they act irrationally about the spending, and that again begets more and more inflation, and that's the the, the spiral that's clearly the central bank's concern about. Are we at that point? Yeah, I mean, that's called entrenched inflation. When right. the workers are basically f looking ahead and knowing that there's going to be inflation, they demand high, higher wages as a consequence. But the real, the real sad story here is we have had now a year and a half of monthly declines in the standard of living of workers, meaning real wages have gone down. Not to mention people on fixed income who have no nominal wage growth who are just getting slammed. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, Mike Tyson who said, you know, I had a plan on I got until I got hit in the face. It's, that's kind of what retired people are feeling right now without having any kind of growth in their fixed income many times. And uh, Danielle, before we go, I've said this over and over again, but the Federal Reserve in, made the leveraged rich richer oh. and screwed over people seeking safety and security in their investments. Yep. And even if they keep, if rates go to four, four and a half percent. Mm -hmm. But if that's below the level of inflation, right. that means that you cannot put your money in something safe and beat inflation. That's right. Period. So the Fed has been encouraging retirees to take risks, to buy junk bonds, to stay in the stock market. Look at what's happening to them now because it's it has not paid for generations to save cash and be safe. And now you have this extra backlash from inflation's effect on your ability to even try and be prudent in your retirement years. I mean, grandma should not be in junk bonds. No, she should not be, or my father, neither my father. <laughs> um, grandpa, rather. Daniel, great to see you. Likewise. And Tom, always a pleasure, sir. I, I didn't take notes this time, but I'll hit you up on, uh, I'll, on I'll email. Hope you, I hope you 
and not only got the invitation for the inflation reduction <laughs> party today, but also to the secure border party and the Afghanistan withdrawal party. This, they're did, coming up. How amazingly what, insensitive. What are they Gosh. thinking? Tom, what are they thinking having a party? And, and I, I know. I'm going to say, know. I, I don't tweeted. Know what the, what's going on over there? Yeah, it, it's, it's crazy. It's, I, I, will, I will not get a comment from you on this, but I did tweet this. It's sadism, but that's why sadism is best left to dark dungeons because in broad daylight it is especially offensive to watch. Oh, gosh, yes. Unauthorized surveillance, meantime. Thank you both.